In this workflow, we will show you how to import well data. Wells are defined by well name and well track, and out of the time, there are time depth curve, markers, and logs. This well data will be loaded from ASCII and last. For that, we will go to Survey, Import, Wells, and ASCII. There are other options for multi-well import and for Petrel direct link in case your well data is coming from Petrel and VSP SIGY. So for our case, this example, we will select ASCII track. So that's the first well data we are going to load. So the first thing is to select the file location, which is under raw data, well data, and we will select the FO2 well track. The examine file will allow us to define the format. As you can see, there is no header in this file, so we select define format. The first column correspond to X and second column to Y. The third is corresponding to TVD sub C, so we just set three here, and the fourth is MD. And we OK. We can close this window, and the second is to define the format and the file load, the depth to time model, which will be used for any conversion from time to depth and depth to time for all the well data. So we select the location for the uh, time to depth uh, conversion file and open. And we examine the file to define the format. No header in the file and we select define. So the first column corresponds to MD and the second, the two-way two time in millisecond. So we just OK and close the file format. We set this as being a check shot data and the output well uh, name will have the same name as the input file and we import. And we say no to close the window. Then you can uh, display the well in the survey by going to the scene a right mouse click and add and select the well and OK. To load the log data, we can go to the well survey manager or we can do it as well from the survey uh, import and then just select the well and import. We can rename the well name here and just remove the well track that was by mistake set and just OK. So import logs, we will select the log location, just going back to the uh, right location and the raw data, well data, and here we have last format in this case. We can examine the file. We can uh, set uh, the depth value as being MD and keep all the logs selected and we name of the log will be the curve and not the description. Just ensure that the well name is correct and we just import From the same well manager, we will import markers from the fourth icon that you see there, and uh, that uh, the window will open. And in this window, we can manually enter the marker name and the depths, or just import from the file. So we can select the file from the same location under uh, the uh, well data and we select the marker. Then we define the format. So the first column being MD and the second column being the uh, marker name. 
and we just okay there is possibility to save the format and just bring it back for other import so in this case we okay and we can assign random column to marker that avoid having to go and set them manually and just import can close this window so you can see now all the markers were imports and assign different color that we can change by double clicking on the color uh, box and change the color here otherwise if we are happy and QC all the data we can just OK and close the well manager now we can QC by displaying the well and some logs and markers as well so we just OK so for that we just go to that particular well display property specify the log we want to have uh, on the left side for example DT and uh, we can uh, set on the right side gamma ray and just select all the markers to be displayed we might want to increase the size of the data so we just OK and you can see here that we have the well with the, the logs and markers which are displayed this concludes our well data import workflow